Hey friends, welcome to a new video of me, Ezreal. Today I would like to cover a topic that is interesting for the server owners or those who want to become one. Even though I assumed that most people should know that, I have noticed a lot of scam in this source scene lately. First of all, as a small disclaimer, I know very well that for many people the following video is a matter of course or you will have a div different opinion on it. But if you don't know much about the World of Warcraft P server scene or you just want to start a server and don't know what to choose from the whole source selection, this is the perfect video for you, for you beginners out there. First of all, what is a World of Warcraft source? A World of Warcraft source is like a reprogrammed or a new skinned um, World of Warcraft version. Yeah, the source is actually not exactly the one that Blizzard runs on their servers. Oh. It is reprogrammed and therefore like a copy of World of Warcraft. With this World of Warcraft source you have the possibility to run your own copy of your own World of Warcraft server. And in most cases this is for free. Or at least say the most are free. Because there are also some sources out there in the big wide world of which you have to pay or have to pay for. These are mostly from small teams of developers who work on this source as a hobby or a bigger team who just want to make some money of it. But why am I making this video now? As a beginner it is not easy in a new scene. You try to gather information and at some point you come across the first notes. In the case of World of Warcraft, most of you will probably come across Trinity Core when you start dealing with World of Warcraft private servers and the development behind it. Trinity Core is the mother of almost all World of Warcraft sources. Trinity Core is the base of almost every other source you can find for World of Warcraft. No matter what expansion you decide to go for as a developer. So many dev teams, the dev teams I just mentioned, take this Trinity Core source and build their own from it. Most of them who don't work on a server but just want to push the source, push the source forward and develop it further, publish their comments. This is what the extensions or the progress for the sources on GitHub are called for free. But then there are the others who build their own source from Trini Trinity Core and sell it for a fee or sell copies of it. It is exactly this group that I would like to warn you about, especially as a beginner. It seems to be tempting to buy a World of Warcraft source from a development team that sells their newest Legion source for only $300 and claims that 90% of all content works. In truth, there is more behind such things than just work. They steal comments from leaked sources from, from large private servers, which is almost no work to steal those comments, and then sell those comments in their source as theirs. So you just boy bought a stolen source even if it's sold under a new and super cool name. Don't get me wrong, of course this is not always and in 100% of the cases like this. But mostly this is the sad truth. So next time you think about buying a World of Warcraft source as a developer who really knows about C++ and SQL and all that stuff, better think twice. If you really have a knack for C++, Look at public community sources and build your own project from these sources. Or who knows, maybe you just contribute to these current projects like C Mangos or Trinity Core. I mean, you surely don't want to be a salesman like those rip-off source sellers, do you? Again, do not get me wrong. I know how much development work a World of Warcraft server is and especially the source behind it and how many hours of code it takes to build a good project. But doesn't it feel better to have done all that by yourself? 
to take credit for something you know this is really my work? So, long story short, before you buy a World of Warcraft source, I recommend you to have a look at the free, partly damn well developed community sources and support them. I've given you a list of the best sources, I think, are listed in the description for each expansion, from Classic to Shadowlands. Although Shadowlands is not yet a source at the moment, but I'm sure it will be soon. Among these sources are Classic and Legends like Trinity Core, Sea Mangus, Light's Hope and Ashamane. In that sense, have a nice day. Cheers.